Yes, that's the first thing most people think about considering, especially if they're on pasture 24 seven, is the use of a muzzle. But you wanna be careful to make sure that there's not underlying conditions such as metabolic syndrome or Cushing's, something that you need to discuss with your veterinarian. And typically, leaving the muzzle on 24 seven uh, is not recommended. A 12 hour length and dur duration for using the muzzle is typically what you wanna see. Plus you wanna remove the muzzle occasionally just to make sure there's no rubbing issues or anything of that sort going on. So do consult your veterinarian to make sure that what you're doing is right for your specific needs. Yes, and that's again why we went with the full each cheek piece. As you can see the amount of adjustment available. I'll shorten it up here and you can see how, just how short it goes. And on the contrary, the other way extends all the way out. Crown also has full adjustment. Throat also has full adjustment. Now, that being said, when you're going to use the safety breakaway feature, you, this is not typically used for adjusting for the sizing. You want to do this with the slide crown piece and all the other adjustments. That's where you do your fine tuning to make it fit. At, once you've determined where you, first you need to determine if you're going to use the Velcro in the fully loaded, most secure position, which is all the way in as you see there, and then closed completely. Or if you're going to use it in the half position if you have some concerns about them becoming entangled, if you have a lot of limbs or trees in your pasture, you might consider that. I mean, you're going to learn over time when you're using it, just what setting you need to have it on. But with a, a full-size horse with their full weight, and when you have it in the fully loaded position, it's going to break away. This is a muzzle that you've seen on the market for years. Uh, as you can see, it's fully enclosed, and you can imagine having your nose in there would be totally uncomfortable and would make you want to spend time trying to rub the muzzle off, uh, which clearly is going to cause issue. So what we've done is we've listened to the reviews and to our customers, and that's where the Easy Breathe muzzle came to be. As you can see, we've opened it up on either side for the nostrils, so it's easy airflow. It's much more comfortable for the horse than obviously the, the old style was. So they're less likely to want to try and remove the muzzle, uh, which is what we want. We want them to be happy and content while still restricting their grass intake. Well, this is the standard muzzle, which uh, is what you commonly see, and it's made for a horse that will accept it. And with the features that we have on our Easy Breathe muzzle, it makes it more accepting to them. But if you still have a horse that typically wants to rub and get their muzzle off, we have a solution for that in this muzzle. Uh, this is a mini muzzle, so that's why the size difference. Uh, as you can see, the feature here is the V-nose. It's located on the front of the basket. And then if the horse is, one of the things they typically try to do when wanting to remove the, the muzzle is dragging it on the ground to get it over their nose. If the muzzle is properly fit, it's unlikely, but there are some, we all know, some horses just figure things out and come up with a way of doing it. So that's where the V nose comes from. And so you can adjust this to make it level on the horse once it's applied, and this will uh, keep them from doing that. It's very effective. beginning once you have the muzzle properly fitted two fingers here two fingers there um, what you want to do is you want to like get some grass or get some hay and kind of introduce them to the opening below so they get the idea of where they can successfully get grass or any other food item um, once you get this established when you start doing it I would only put them out with the muzzle on a couple hours a day until they get used to it and then build up to a maximum of say 12 hours maximum a day and always take it off uh, obviously after the 12 hours just to ensure that there's no rubbing or anything going on. 